Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how to create a Sankey diagram. Uh, so this particular visual is being available since 2015. And this is shows you the flow of uh, the targeted and destinations area. So this is one of the very uh, good visual to show your PNL statement. Uh, the flow of your PNL statement started from the revenue till the net profit or as an HR professional, what you can do is uh, you can see your headcounts moving within the internal department for any reason or uh, the headcount uh, exit or hiring uh, with respect to the department. So you can see that flow as well. So this particular diagram can be useful to see the flow either as, as in financial example or HR or any, any other, right? Uh, how you can use this uh, there are two methods first you need a power bi desktop version and there are two methods to add this visual so this particular visual is not available by default uh, in in power bi desktop version so you need to uh, get it through uh, the app source so to get it through the app source you need to sign in from your organizational email address and you need to uh, provide the access of email address and the password as well remember that uh, signing up for the cloud account for power bi uh, will not uh, generally accept the gmail hotmail yahoo or any other public domain but your organizational sign up okay so if you don't have that uh, facility available or if you cannot access to the app source so what you can do is you can download this particular visual sankey chart uh, click on get it now it will download that file and then you can import so i have already done that so let's get start all right so this is power bi desktop version i will go to more visuals and i will click on from my files all right so i have placed this uh, file uh, into a folder uh, make sure the extension of this particular visual will always be pbi viz click on open and this says the visual was successfully imported to this report so when you open this drop down menu scroll down and now you have this Sankey diagram available so click on it it will open up as a blank so we need to data to be import now remember for Sankey diagram you need to align your data set as well so let's say uh, you need two columns primarily the source and the destination that will define the flow of your Sankey diagram and the numbers required okay so this is the data which I have uh, here and let's import into the power bi so get data excel workbook so here is the file click open let's select the table which is called as database click on load all right so we have this data loaded so we have source uh, we will drag the source to this source area okay and then the destination will be in the destination field just drag and drop and for the amounts uh, you can drag into the weight okay so that shows you the flow uh, of Sankey uh, now it has some amount if you want to see that amount you can just uh, hover your cursor and it will show a tooltip so you can see the amount here but it shows you the flow how it started right and alright so now our data is not in a tabular format so we need to convert that through Power Query so let's go to transform data And let's select these three years go to transform click on unpivot columns rename the headers as let's say these are years and these are the values so let's go to home tab click close and apply let's add a Senki diagram okay this is the diagram let's add a source here then the destination then for the weight we can have the value here and then we will be having uh, ears as a slicer so let's add a slicer and let's put ears in it now we can filter year wise because our data is now in tabular format so 20 22 21 and 20 right so this is how Senki diagram works moreover on the data labels you can see this this showing you uh, the amounts as well uh, with the text shown as like for this one so you can just enable force display 
and that will show you this as well so this is how we can have a send key diagram based on our PNL. So it depends that uh, your columns, how you define the source and destination, and how many years of data you have. Okay. So this is uh, the visual available in Power BI. Thank you.